See, if you clearly have the pulse of New York real estate, but you're selling a stake at 10 Hudson Yards, so what message is that sending? Well, I mean, we're not really selling a stake. Uh, one of the tenants, uh, <clears throat> Coach, who was our first tenant, uh, owned their space. We sold, we built it for them. They're moving in in uh, April of this year. Um, and today we have like 10 and a half million square feet under construction out of a 20 million square foot project. They're selling their share in the in the building. So everybody thinks that we're selling out already. You know, uh, it's just that uh, Coach is selling uh, their share in the office building that they bought, taking advantage of. The, they were the first tenant. They made a great deal. They're taking advantage of the market. We're they're taking advantage of the market, or maybe one could argue they're in the retail space, and retailers are getting hurt. You've got a massive endeavor, a flagship with Neiman Marcus. Right. Are you concerned at all? You've got to follow retail numbers, and retailers, they're not feeling it. No, I mean, that, that's all from the leasing, you know, getting them to sign leases today with a delivery, and we won't open the retail until 2018. So it's a little ahead of their time, and they're all being a little cautious. We are doing very well, though. Um, the coach really, this was their office portion that they sold and they were just taking advantage and reducing their uh, costs going forward in terms of their occupancy costs in you know, that building. <clears throat> but the retailers, I think they've seen what we've done with uh, the Time Warner Center where they said that you know, vertical retail wouldn't work in New York and it's probably the second highest grossing retail space in the United States. Um, so we're getting a really lot of interest for uh, Hudson Yards. I think people are really seeing the vision that we really saw in Hudson Yards and what it will be to New York. It's really going to become like the new heart of New York. And uh, very, very exciting. We've leased already or sold 7 million square feet of office space to the leading, uh, really the leading tenants in, in, in this city in a diverse, uh, in, in totally diverse industries from Wells Fargo to KKR to uh, SAP. Our own Dan Doctoroff. Uh, Dan Doctoroff is there. You know, for, uh, well, ju CEO. just last week, Street Easy Index basically put out a report saying luxury apartment sale prices are down versus last fall. SL Green is saying that the jobs picture in New York is not that healthy. Do you agree? Well, I, I mean, you're not getting a lot of new jobs into New York, but there's a lot of relocation in New York, and that's what we're taking advantage of. Um, and where people really, today, the way you do business today is a little different than you did business in the past. You, you, the tenants ten, uh, can use a lot less square feet per employee, so, and they need a lot more you know, technology in their buildings. So that's why we're really uh, Hudson Yards. Doesn't that cost a lot more for you? When tenants well, want technology, that's not cheap. But we're building new anyway, so we're building it into it, and that's our advantage. Because if you look at really the New York housing stock, over 60% 60, over 60 is over 60 years old. So it really, a lot of the tenants realize they need new space, and as opposed to redoing their existing space, it's easier to move into something new that has everything built in. So um, you can just see where the shift of where people are going in New York. And that's what Hudson Yards is all about. There's another shift. The Treasury Department now suddenly wants to know who's buying New York condos. Why do they want to know this? And does it matter to you? Well, I mean, there was an article, you know, the New York Times did, that uh, people were buying condos in single-purpose entities. What does and, that mean, even? Well, that's like they put it in the name of a corporation instead of their individual names. I guess they were trying to track money laundering. Um, I don't think that's really an issue, but since the New York Times wrote about it, it's the typical reaction of government. So, uh, of course, we have to look into it. And uh, I think most people really look and see who their owners are. I, don't, I haven't seen much, uh, if any, money laundering and people buying condos, especially at those prices. You know, it's, but you don't it, think this regulation could affect your business? No, I don't think so at all. And when you say, listen, New York's uh, housing stock, these buildings are 60 years old. That's, to renovate that's, a, that's the office. Okay, then the office space. So let's yeah. say they get renovated. Can companies afford these new spaces? They're obviously a lot more money. Well, the value of the buildings are just less. Uh, but I think that uh, New York is a place where people want to be, and that's the important thing. And there's a, being an island, there's a limited amount of space. So uh, I, I think New York is really going to survive. I think that it, it will, its, des, its best days are ahead of it. It's, coming a, it's becoming a lot more of a technology city, you know, with the new Cornell Technion opening up uh, this year. Um, 
And I think that it's a place where people want to be. It's where millennials want to be. It's an exciting place. You know, it's a 24-7 city. Uh, there's no other city like it in the United States. Does it change Hudson Yards, the fact that KKR is there? Saying, guess what? We're one of the biggest, baddest Midtown, West 57th Street, and we're moving to Hudson Yards? I mean, it was certainly a good indication. <laughs> I mean, and we were talking to a law firm, and they were, they were thinking of going there. They said, but our, our tenants will never visit us. And uh, so, so we're going to stay where we are. And, and, their, and their largest client, I mean, their clients wouldn't visit them. And their largest client was KKR, but we couldn't say anything to, That's to tell them. That's so amazing. So then after, they said, hey, I want to get out of here. I want to come over to Hudson Yards. I like that. So we're that. getting law firms and really almost uh, the top firms in almost every industry is really moving to Hudson Yards. I think that this will become the new heart in New York.